I ain't been broke in a minute. I'm trying to run these digits. Put my little bro on the penny. We hop out the car with extensions. These niggas be pistols, they switch it. Playing with a bro, then you go on the mission. Me and my niggas, we all on the mission. Focus on money, ain't worried about bitches. Yo, what is going on, y'all? It's your boy, Vell, and we're back with another Mobile Legends video. And this one, we'll be covering a Filipino legend and genius when it comes to Mobile Legends. Few. He's one of the most respected, most accomplished, and decorated individuals throughout Mobile Legends history. And it's amazing because if you saw some of the earlier videos that we've made about Few, he actually had the choice to become a streamer, to, to use his fame and popularity and make more and more money but instead he chose to stay true to competition and being competitive and stay true to esports and focus solely on being the best and keep working hard and to be able to survive from the era he comes from and to still be dominant today when so many people are not here anymore in, in, in the community. So many people are focused on streaming now. So many people, like it's, it's just a whole new and different environment and he has been able to thrive the entire time, man. So. Um, yeah, th this guy is an absolute legend. He's an absolute beast. And yeah, so much respect to few, man. But yeah, we're going to check it out, man. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe. And also be sure to subscribe to the homie who translated this. Obviously, I always leave his channel linked down below. Tamboro Man does an amazing job with his translation. So yeah, let's jump into it, y'all. I'm si Fiu, mid laner ng Avebren and Five World Champion. Alright. Mm. Fiu, first of all, congratulations, pare. Uh, pangalawa po na. Pangalawa mo na to. Tapos, yung buong 2023 mo, lumalabang ka. Parang nag-world tour talaga kayo. Anong meron sa AP Bren at nilalaban nyo yung lahat ng laban? Siguro yung meron sa amin, ano eh. Na-enjoy namin lahat ng laro eh. Tsaka kasama na rin yung mga biyahe namin. Na-enjoy din namin lahat yun eh. Parang, kaya siguro hindi kami nakakaramdam ng pagod. Kasi lahat ng parte ng tournament na-enjoy namin. Yung pagbiyahe pa lang, yung mga interviews. Lahat nga gagawin din namin ng content, so ayun siguro. Okay. Ito, ito namin yung ginagawa namin. Okay. Phew! So as you can see, he, they just love what they're doing. As a team, they love what they're doing. They compete as much as possible any tournament. They try to be there, they try to make it, and they try to go and dominate. Like, that's what they love doing. They love even doing the interviews, this part of it. So not only do they love the game, they love this part of it as well. And it's not just about them looking for opportunity to make content for themselves and to make a bunch of money for themselves. It's like just the whole process of what it means to be a pro is clearly something that he loves, and that's amazing. Uh, and dami mo nang na-achieve. Goat ka na, goat status ka na. Ano pang next para kay Pew, pare? Um, ano, patuloy lang. Kaya nung after nung M2, pero huwag naman sana mag-aya na ano, puro talo. Eh ano, patuloy lang, hindi ako susuko hanggat ano, hanggat kaya pumulaw. Ano ba natutunan mo noon, nung after nung M2, nag-champion ka, tapos puro talo ka na, anong, anong mabagoy mo ngayon? Um, siguro na wala kasi sa amin yung ano eh, yung parang dito namin mag-improve nun eh. Parang feeling namin kami na lagi yung pinakamalakas eh, na walang sasaboy sa amin ngayon. Tapos ngayon siguro ang mindset namin, after nung mag-champion kami ng M5, ayun yung pinakababagoyin talaga namin. Okay. So they got in their head, their mental fortitude was a little bit weak back then. So they were, they got consumed by the clout, by the ego. And that's tend to be what happens. When you get to a certain level, you get to a certain height, your ego usually be what screws you over. So the fact that they're understanding that, the fact that he knows that, he has a little bit more wisdom going into winning M5. I think that they're going to do great. I think that they're going to be another force moving into M6. It's going to be amazing to see what they accomplish throughout this um this next season, like, it's going to be great to see. Mindset, mindset. Mapunta tayo sa celebration mo. Nung nag-celebrate ka, pumayo ka mismo sa upuan. Pumayo ka nung, sa upuan, sa gaming chair mo. Hindi mo pa naisip na pwede ka malaglag doon? Hindi ko, hindi ko maisip pa't pumayo ako doon eh. Kasi ano eh, yung upo ko noon, nakatapak yung, yung dalawang pa ako sa upuan eh. Habang nag-alaro. Ayun yung pinakakomportable kong upo eh. Tapos yung nag-champion, parang pumayo lang ako bilang. Hindi ko alam na nakapayo na pala ako sa gaming chair. Nung, nung nasagi yung gaming chair, naramdaman mo, uy, na, ano, nananasagi. Parang sinisi mo yung, ano eh, sinisi mo ba si Kuya Nico? Oops, oh, uh, ano sinabi mo sa kanya? Ano, kala ko kasi, kala ko kasi nahila niya, ganun. Tapos, eto naman ba namin yun eh, si Boss Wilbers. Uh, Ayun, kala ko nahila niya kasi pagkalingon ko, nakatingin sa akin, tapos nakangit eh. Uh, ano sabi mo sa uh, kanya? Sabi ko, uy, Kuya Wilbers, parang ikaw talaga. <laughs> Nagbugso ng damdamin na kasi yun eh. Bugso ng damdamin. Mapunta tayo in-game view. Uh, meron ka bang specific play or specific na nangyari 
sa lahat ng series na never mong makakalimutan. Siguro yung ano, yung sa Game 5, yung yung, yung ano, yung kung gameplay ko ng Lilia ng Game 5. Oh, yun. Sakto-sakto. Gusto ko pag-usapan yung Lilia. Merong isang specific play na Lilia ka, oh. tapos na-touch mo yung Star Shatter ng Novaria. Oh. At yung sakto-sakto sa Winter Transition. Oh. Ano ba pumapasok hey. sa utak mo? No? Paano mo nagawa yung touch na yun? Um, ano eh, para naka-ready na talaga pumapasok sa utak ko no ba mo nag- Maria at in saktong sakto sa winter transition uh, ano ba pumapasok sa utak ko no ba mo nagawa yung touch na yun look at the place um, ano eh para naka-ready na talaga ako sa kanya eh tapos binibate ko pa lumapit talaga sa akin habang binubomba ko yung kampi niya ayun parang natapakan ko lagi tapos noong time na sobrang loko na talaga alam kong bibigyan na niya ako ayun niready ko na yung winter para dun sa ano niya Can he take off you? The assassin, 1v1, black shoes, you stop, CW needs one crossbow attack, but he saves it. He saves it. He outplays Few, but immortality gets bought out, and CW will okay. back away. Few has done it. Oh, boy. What a play. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Turn Now giving Kyrie, who still is able oh, to find no. that Poisson, he's isolated from the team, but Final he is soaking clash. a lot of damage. Final clash might be happening right now, the Immortality, no! Mm. No Immortality! Kyrie has been taken down! Sinabi ng isa sa mga teammates mo na ikaw ang dancehall na tapusin na natin to. Nung last team fight, na- nakapitas kayo, oh, dalawang hero yung napitas nyo, tapos kinokos daw na push na natin, end na natin. My Lord, paano? Nakala nung iba maglulupit kayo, pero nag-decide ka na, itapos na. Bakit yun yung naisip mo? Pinaisip ko na yun kasi ano eh, napitas namin yung pinakamakunod sa kanila yung back siya. Tapos sumunod naman yung pinakamalakas magdab sa kanila si Gid. So parang naisip ko na ano, since ano, papasok na yung mga minion, kaya na namin talagang tapusin. Parang kung sino mong umarap, bigyan agad namin kasi mababurst naman ni Brody. Sa may pagpasok ng minion, tower lock na agad lahat. Tower lock na, tower lock na. Pew, again. That was that. That was that. Um, experience, map awareness, and and understanding of what position they were in and what they could do. Obviously, he's a beast. Like I said, man, he's a legend. He he was able to stay calm, read the map, read the situation, and realize this is an opportunity that they can capitalize on. And shout out to his team for also just quickly following his lead and following the call out and working together to make that happen. Because obviously, they they all got on the same page very quickly and went for the win. And it paid off because they were able to go from him calling it out to the team executing on it immediately. And that that's huge, being able to trust in your teammates call out like that where it's no hesitation, it's no, nah, nah, bro, let's go for Lord. What if, what if they come back? Like, it was no debate. It was, okay, let's win this. Everybody got on the same page. And and I, I think a lot of that has to do with how much people respect him. Um, obviously, if he sees that as an opportunity, he's so experienced, you have to take that seriously. And uh, you're a, you're again a world champion. What keeps you motivated and what keeps you inspired? Um, siguro ang pinaka nagmo-motivate sa akin yung ano, yung lahat ng nagtitiwala sa akin. Papapamilya man, so, ano, supporters, yung coaches ko, yung buong management, yung team ko. Kasi kahit sa mga time na ano eh, na mahina ako, nagtitiwala pa rin sila sa akin eh. Tapos lalo na ngayon time na ano na feeling ko malakas kami, ganun. Nagtitiwala talaga sila sa akin. Kaya yun yung nagmo-motivate sa akin. Um, sa lahat ng sa lahat ng fans ko, maraming salamat sa pag-support sa amin. Manalo man kami o matalo, nandiyan kayo palagi. Mukha man, di, mukha man na ano, hindi namin kayo na-appreciate. Pero lagi namin kayo na-appreciate. La, lalo na sa mga pupunta, nanonood. Eh, sobrang na-appreciate namin kayo. Okay. Ako si Pew, M5 World Champion. So there we have it, man. This was a great interview. I loved it. Shout out to Few. Um, does an amazing job. He did an amazing job. He's a great shot caller. Obviously a great player and huge, huge, played a huge role in, in their victory. Honestly, it probably would have been a different game without him. So yeah, shout out to him. I think people say that he may be underrated. A lot of people give him his respect, but yeah, I loved it. Great interview. Let me know what you all think in the comment section down below, fam. We're going to end it right here. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.